Good morning, friends, and welcome. It is a beautiful spring morning. We're actually having unseasonably warm weather here in Minnesota right now. So I am enjoying having my windows open, and fresh air blowing through the house. And it's just absolutely gorgeous after a long, hard winter. I'm taking my time with the morning chores today since there is nothing pulling me out of the house today. No kid drop-offs, no appointments, nothing on the calendar, which is such a rare occasion. I plan to take full advantage and putter around the house, doing a few things here and there and working on a few items that I have been putting off for the lack of time. The first thing I did was switch up the tablescape just a little bit to include these gorgeous pansies. I picked these up at Costco a couple days ago and I just love pansies so much. It just screams springtime to me. I'll keep them inside for a week or so and then I'll move them back outside where they belong. But I just love them so much I wanted to enjoy them in the house for a little bit. The next thing I worked on was pinning together a new quilt that I want to get sewn up. I'm making it out of vintage sheets. I have shared how I've made this before. I'll link it down below for you in case you're interested. But basically I use two sheets with a batting in between and then I pin it together, sew it up, add a binding and they make the perfect quilt or blanket. I just love them so much. I have quite a few, but there's never enough. And we tend to fight over them here in the house. So I thought it was high time to make another one. I also want to strip the bed today and get all of the bed linens nicely washed and put back on the bed. Um, please excuse the rest of the room. It is a little bit of a mess. The dogs de-stuffed one of their toys last night, so there's still a little bit of remnants of um, filling here and there around the floor. Um, and also, as you can tell, I do not have this room completely decorated yet. I still need to paint in here. I'm still looking for a headboard. But I do have a few small areas in the room where I have already decorated. So the room is slowly taking shape. I just recently added the curtains, which made a huge difference. But as you can tell, it still needs a little bit of work, which I am hoping I can get to soon.
After lunch, I took some time in my office to relax and work on my current paint by number project. I just recently finished this one and it turned out fabulous. I absolutely love it. This one was very difficult though. I have to say the colors were so similar that it was very easy to lose my spot, but I persevered and I got it done and I am so thrilled with how it turned out. I'm currently working on this one right here, which I am flying through. I started it right after I finished the other one. I think it's only been like two or three days and it is almost done. Like I think I can finish it today if I work at it. So I am super excited about that. Both of these paint by number kits were sent to me by One Day Savings. So I will link their website down below. They are also offering you a 5% off discount code, which I will leave in the description box as well. They have a large collection of paint by number kits to choose from. They also have diamond painting and lots of other craft related projects that you can choose from. So check out their website, the links down below. For those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you know how obsessed I am with paint by number kits. I enjoy it so much. I find it so relaxing and such a fun hobby that I highly recommend it. So if you haven't given it a try and you're looking for something new, have a look around the One Day Savings website. I'm sure there is something that will pique your interest and motivate you to try something new. And just for fun, here's a look at my paint by number wall. It's an ever growing collection, as you can imagine. After dinner, I pulled out yet another vintage sheet and I cut it up to use as binding. So right here, you can see I am going ahead and making that, which is a little bit tedious, takes a while, but I am making extra that I'm hoping to use on my next project. So basically what I do is cut the fabric into three inch strips, sew them all together, press them in half, and then I press the halves in half again. So it gives me about a one inch binding that's like double sided with a fold in the middle. Hopefully that makes sense. I prefer making my own binding as opposed to buying it. And then when I'm done, if I make extra like I did this time, I will wind it around a little piece of cardboard. This just helps keep the pressed edges nice and crisp and the whole thing tidy until I have a chance to add it to a quilt. Once that was finished, I was able to finish up the horse paint by number. I think it turned out really great. I'll be adding that to my paint by number wall, which I'm very excited about. And then finally, I was still feeling motivated, so I decided to do a late night sewing session. I was able to get the layers sewed together and the binding put along the outside. So now it is all ready to hand stitch the backside of the binding to the quilt, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole project. I like to sit and watch sports while I do this. So I most likely will save this till Sunday when I sit down to watch the NASCAR race. That'll be a very enjoyable time for myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye now.